it is time to paint my clay gargoyle and I'm gonna paint this so it looks like stone so this is called faux painting when you try to make something look like something it isn't so I want this to look like stone like it is attached to like a building or something so what I have is I have black acrylic paint and white acrylic paint um, acrylic paint does not come out of clothes does it's hard to cut off of other materials that's why I have my um, paper towel on my desk so I don't get it all over my desk um, if you don't have this you can use tempera paint you also can use watercolor but if you use watercolor you're gonna have to use a lot of water with your black I'm gonna sponge on my paint so it looks has the texture of the sponge will give it more of a stone look um, my sponges are damp so it soaks up the paint a little bit and then I can dab them on I also have a little cup of water in case I need to thin anything out and I have a paintbrush if there's some little spot I want painted on just because I can't get the sponge in there I'm gonna use one sponge for white and one sponge for black I know that they're all gonna get mixed up at some point and I'm gonna end up with lots of grays on this but that's okay so I'm just gonna get my sponge in there and I'm just dabbing on I want that texture of the sponge on it now if i want to start mixing it together i can always dip that in the white too and see how it starts to um create that stone modeled look that you're trying to get so you just keep working it all over it and then you're just adding your other colors on top I'm just using black and white. You could actually add a little browns in there and other colors like natural stone would look like. Right in here, I'm going to use my brush just to get some of the black in those crevices between the spikes. That will just help a little bit for coverage to get that covered. And then I can go in with the white. I already have some white on mine. And I can create that look. Okay, I still think I need a little bit of black on the wings. And you can just keep doing this until you have the color combination and the texture you want. So it looks like the same thing. I'm also going to use my brush. I want the holes like for my eyes and into my mouth. I want those to be dark. So I'm going to add more black into those spaces so that when I model it with the sponge with the white on top of it, I have a darker space in there. It'll just help with showing the eyes and the mouth more. I think that's it. Remember, brushes and stuff you need to keep washed out or wet because otherwise they're going to um, stick to it and then it's not going to come out. Once the acrylic paint dries, it turns to a plastic and it's not going to come out of anything that it's dried to. My sponge isn't fitting in there, so I'm just taking the tip of my brush and just dabbing it into those crevices, and I'll give some of the gray, give some of the white, and make it look like the whole thing is stone instead of spots that the sponge can't get to. And then I can go back over it, the sponge, and I'll blend it all together. But this way I have different colors showing up everywhere. I still need that side. If you feel like you have too much paint on your sponge, just dab it on the paper towel first and dry it off a little bit. And then you can dab on your um, gargoyle so that it adds a little more modeling so that you get really get that texture of the sponge. I need to do that with the white now. I ended up just using one sponge and that seemed to work best because it ends up naturally mixing on the sponge with the grays and I think that worked a little better than using multiple sponges. And here's my finished gargoyle. It has that faux stone look so it does look like a gargoyle that could have been sitting on a building.